and welcome back to MD Globe Muscle here at the Unrise Mirror Studio with me, your host, Charles Thomas. I'm joined all the way from sunny France, Theo Legedia. Yeah, hello. <laughs> Theo, um, I've decided I'm going to do the full interview speaking French. Oh, you, you try it? Well, I'll try. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, try. I'm joking, I'm joking. Pas de bleu. Yeah, well, see, I see. Yeah, we, we, I got that, I got that. So, um, Theo, mate, what a what a fantastic year you've had. Um, uh, how did you how do you feel? Because obviously you qualified for the Olympia. Um, are you excited now that after all these events you've done this year, that you're going to the your first ever Mr. Olympia? How does it feel? Ah, oh, I feel good. <laughs> what is possible uh, to not? Uh, I feel very good. I'm very excited to to go to Olympia because I, I win my pro card in uh, Las Vegas oh, yeah. in uh, 2018. Uh, I win the overall in Vegas and now I come back to the Vegas for the big dance, you know? Wow, I, comple I completely forgot that. Completely yeah. forgotten that. So I was talking to Ron Harris on the, on the Big Man Weekend, I think the preview or the review, I forget which we did. And... I was saying that how many shows? I think you've done something. Is it nine shows you've done this year or ten? Uh, for the for the season or for the year? Because for the season I make uh, uh, for the season two two thousand twenty two I make Yamamoto Pro Cup in Rome, uh, so Armor Classic Yamamoto Pro Cup in Rome, uh, New York Pro, uh, San Diego Pro, San Diego, uh, Toronto Pro, Puerto Rico Pro. And Alicante. So, how many is that? Uh, I think it's seven, seven or eight, yeah. So, it's crazy. So, I mean, you were doing really well on points, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah I, I have. Um, I, I'm qualified to the point uh, before Alicante. Yeah. And uh, and I just want to have a qualification with uh, or directly with a win for. For you know, for the promotion, for upgrade my name, you know, for don't come uh, with uh, with just a point, and I want to um, I, I want to win a show before Olympia and to to take money too. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and uh, I'm very happy to to win my first pro show before the Olympia. This is a very very good feeling, you know, very good sensation, and I'm very happy because all the year I improve my physique show after show. And I crowing too. Uh, all the guys say it's not possible to crowing in the prep, but I'm crowing, and uh, I have much quality since uh, the debut of the of the season. Uh, my skin is more tight. I have more density, more separation, and this is a very great year. Yeah, it's a lot of show, but uh, this is a bodybuilding. You know, you you remember uh, ten or twenty years ago, uh, all the pro he makes some show. Yeah. Over the year, mm -hmm. and and the level is very high. You know, Ronnie Coleman, I think he make ten show in one year, and the shape is uh, unbelievable. What is it is not uh, impossible to make that and to have a good level. You know, do you, how do you feel? Because you've never you've in any of these events you haven't come in off. Not a single. I've never actually seen you off condition. But yet you've done a lot of shows and every single time you've brought really good condition. Some people by now would be so burnt out, but you yeah. look fresh. You look fantastic on the weekend. How do you feel? Uh, mm, I, I don't know uh, what the, uh, for why, but uh, I think I, I don't make the, the – the very big preparation. This is very classic preparation, you know. Mm -hmm. And I work hard. I I make a special orientation for my health, for my health. And uh, this year I make a two time detox. Oh wow! With, uh, yeah, with ozone therapy, uh, drip therapy, you know, and um, I don't know the name, colon, uh, washing my colon. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, colon, and, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I make all because this is a very important part of your body. Because if your body is not healed, uh, you you don't have a good reaction, you know. And this is a uh, this is my only one capital for 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 my job. My mm -hmm. job is bodybuilder, mm -hmm. and my capital is my health. And if I don't have a health, I have nothing, you know. Because even looking at you now, you look you look healthy. You look good. You know, you don't look like a guy that's done eight shows and looked good 
in all those eight, nine, whatever, how many shows it is, you look, you look good, you look healthy. And I think it also, that reflected on stage because you look, I thought last weekend Alicante was your most polished, <laughs> overall, your most polished look. I thought your color, you know, your, your, your conditioning, your skin, mm. your everything. I just thought you just, I feel like you've taken it to another level. Yeah, because I I make a special orientation with all the all, all, all the all the points, you know, especially uh, in my my skin too. I make scrubs two or three weeks before the show. I make hydration. Say I I, I take a, uh, for me it's normal. If you want to have the the, the best condition, the best uh, showing, it's important to to make that, you know. Mm. And uh, this is the same for my for my supplementation. I have a lot of antioxidant, of special uh, micronutrition, you know. Yeah, good, good. So yeah, I take the, the collagen. The, I take collagen for my skin. Do you? I take, uh, you know. I got, a, is, I got a uh, collagen. You're not even thirty yet, are you? What? How old are you now? Uh, Thirteen. Oh, thirty. You're just thirty. Yeah, now um, I am a adult. You're getting old. <laughs> you're a proper grown up. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. So, um, I mean, obviously, you got your first pro win, and then you I jumped into the big man weekend. Yeah. Is, what was the reason for doing that as when you'd already got your qualification? Well, I suppose it was a uh, 2023 qualifier. But why do it when you were qualified for the Olympia and you and you had just a few weeks into the Olympia? Why do Alicante? Uh, for, for the big man? Yeah, why Why did you do it? Yeah, because I want to, I, I want to have a qualification directly for two... Yeah. For 2023, yeah, I think it's possible because uh, now yeah. I think I have I have a level for win a pro show. Yeah. Okay. And I, I and I and I say before, it's a good opportunity to to make that because I have one year for for improve. I never make a lot a, a long off season. You know, I think I make just eight week of off season, and now uh, I think I have the structure, I have the condition, but. I just need the time for a little bit growing, you know, uh, on the on the last part of my body. I just need the time. I talk with uh, all the Jews all the year, the head Jews like uh, Bill, like Taylor, uh, like Mazali. They say, "Man, you are you are perfect, but you just need the time for growing a little bit. Keep fresh, keep your health, keep your look, keep your line, and just growing a little bit, uh, middle of the back and." chest and you just need a time and uh i i just want to take the opportunity for 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 win uh, the big man but <laughs> i was excited but it's not a problem that was very close though i mean andrea presti looked fantastic brett wilkin looked fantastic but you know when you were stood in the lineup with your hands on your hips like that that is your <laughs> that is your pose mate because I could never, I didn't like standing like that when I was on stage. I felt silly, yeah. but you did it. And I thought, and I said, that's your signature pose. That is your pose because it really, you really stand out when you stand like that, relaxed in the lineup. Yeah, because uh, I want to have the optimal, the optimal pose for, for, for look uh, my best, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and yeah, I think this weekend, for the last weekend in the big man, it's possible to, to upgrade a little bit because my in the final comparison I'm really really better uh, because um, I hit just before sodium and a uh, little bit cal and uh, I'm much fuller much harder and I think if I if I uh, if I have the same condition at the debut of the show I think it's possible to to make another place but that's the game I. Keep, I keep this experience for the future. So doing so many shows, do you do a different peak week for every single show? Do you, tr do you and Mauro try different things or do you stick with the same, um, the same thing, same approach? Yeah, this is just step by step, you know, because I don't want to change a uh, whole, you know. I, I just keep when you work it good. Um, I think I just uh, switch my... My peak week uh, just before Toronto Pro, uh, and I make the zero day cows before. The day before you do zero cup? No, not the day before. Oh. Three or four days yeah. uh, in the week, uh, I just eat fish and spinach. <laughs> three, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Three, four, four, three day, three or four day, and uh, and after I make my my loading, and um, 
he works very good for Toronto. I make the same for Puerto Rico. And this is the first time when I see my skin like tight, you know? Yeah. And now I make that for all the show. And uh, and now I just find uh, the little sitting for one hour before, you know, because all the time I'm better at the final. And I research with Mao for a while. Uh, for, I think it's possible it's the sodium uh, when I eat uh, a lot before the final, mm-hmm. uh, more deshydratation, or it's just... Uh, in the brain because I'm uh, I'm free. I don't know, but uh, we're working uh, for that. I noticed actually because I've been to Prague, I've been to Romania. I was there when Crizo looked poor at the pre-judging, incredible at the night show. Berus Tabani in Romania, flat at the pre-judging, incredible in the night show. And I have to ask myself, what are you guys doing? Because so many of you competitors look so much better between the pre-judging and night show, and and in some cases, it's only a couple of hours. Yeah, 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 but um, I I don't know what is the reason for all the athletes, but for me I I, I think I have just when I sweating in my uh, in my pre judging when I sweating the um, the water on my skin it go out you know mm. and after I have more I have more deshydratation on my skin and if I if I eat sodium and little bit water it come just on the muscle you know. Mm-hmm. And I have the, the pop-up without water. Uh, probably is that for me. Uh, and probably I'm more, uh, uh, I, I don't have the, the word for that, but I'm more quiet, you know, at the final. Yeah. You know, you, are, you don't have too much adrenaline like the, mm-hmm. like the pre-judging, you know. Also, thank you for doing good posing. <laughs> thank you thank you so i was watching the live stream in here and it was like because i remember the mohammed beneziza music music yeah, was yeah, my yeah. first yeah, yeah i mean that was like i was just i just i just said i said i wished i wished i said on the re- preview i said i wished everyone could pose like you <laughs> no yeah. the uh and honestly uh i i um i provide oh. uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, well, I, I can't listen to this. I can't listen to this. Yes. Because your posing is so good, just, though. It's so good. Yeah, because the last time I don't have my music. Yeah. And, uh, Which one? I, I don't have my music last time in Alicante. Now I have the music. Oh. And uh, just just before the, the, the show, uh, j- just before the, the posing routine, I say to my friend, oh, man, yes, you have posing routine. I have my music, but I don't know what I make. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, but this is just an inspiration. I think if I, uh, if you're moving good and you have a, a good feeling with your music, for me, it's just enough for, for make a posing, you know, because I, I feel the music and I feel the, the bodybuilding, you know, mm-hmm. on my veins. And uh, <laughs> I, I just leave the posing, you know. Yeah, yeah. Do you ever, because th- Cedric McMillan used to do that and he used to do amazing posing routines. Do you ever feel like maybe choreographing something or does or would that be too, would you have to be going through it in your head and it wouldn't feel as natural? Yeah, this is natural. This is natural. I just, okay. uh, honestly, I never uh, I never rock my, my posing routine. Uh, first, I, 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 I search uh, the music. When I have the music, it feel me uh, an emotion. Yeah. I keep this music, and after I just uh, I just have a lot of things on the music. Okay, okay, a little bit, little bit move when I'm up, when I'm down. Okay, like that, like that. Okay, and after on the on the scene, if I in, I improvise. Uh, Oh. <laughs> no, you're very, you're very good. You're a very natural poser, and like because uh, Ron Harris said, you had the best posing routine at the New York Pro. Yeah, yeah, it's big show. Info. But yeah, yes, I, I remember in New York, you have a very, very good feeling, and uh, I feel the, all the public. And in the USA, the people they like the show, you know. Mm. And I remember Linda Murray is in the, oh, wow. is in front of me. He's like, hey, <laughs> nice, yeah, well, I like well. that, you know. Nice. And we are naked now. You all the guys say, yeah. They say, ah, oh, good motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> thing is, like, I mean, thing is, you've. Another good thing about you is that, like, I, f- I felt like you arrived last year. I felt like everyone knew who you were after last year. 
now this year you've got a win you've done a load of shows and you've done well in every single one of them like because some competitors they'll get third in one the next week they go to two weeks later 14th like you're very consistent i mean i i, I don't think you've been out of the top five in what two years uh yeah 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 i mean so how many is that how many shows is that in the last two 2021 2022 and you've all made top five how many shows is that yeah uh, uh, oh, i don't know yeah i don't know <laughs> a dozen I don't know. 12 i think i went 12 or 14 show in the top five and after toronto i make uh, all the time top three yeah. I make a top three in Allen Classic. I make a top uh, two in, in Toronto. I make a top two in Puerto Rico. I win in Alicante. I make a top three <laughs> last week. Yeah. Yeah. Thing is, it's like, thing is, you, you, you're a European competitor that hasn't just competed in Europe and played it kind of safe. You've gone yeah. to Puerto Rico. You've gone to New York Pro. You've gone to Toronto. Yeah. You know, you've because, traveled everywhere. You've chased the competition. Yeah. And, and honestly, uh, this is not a, a critical, but... In uh, in uh, in USA, the level is is not high like uh, like Europe. You have two of one big name at the show. Yeah, but after this is not the density of uh, of a good athlete like in Europe. Because in Europe, in all the la in all the show, you have yeah. five, five, six, or seven guy with uh, amazing package. You know. I mean, the top 10 at the Big Man Weekend, I mean, that was, I mean, I didn't expect that many good big names and good competitors to show up yeah. all in one show last weekend. I didn't expect it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, when the American boy come in, uh, in Europe, he say, oh, wow, you are a lot of good athletes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, um, what I want to talk, how, how's it going with Mauro then? What? How's it going with Mauro Sassi? Do you know him? How to go? How's it going? How's it going? Is he happy? Everything working well together? Yeah, 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 yeah. Mauro is like my, this is like a friend now, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. And uh, I, I like very specially this guy because he's a human guy, and I, I, I need that for 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 for, for make um, for make the bodybuilding and sport, you know, because this is not my story. This is a story of a team. This is a story, the human stories, you know. Mm. I want. I need to share this, this emotion and all with uh, with the good people. And Mauro is is very is a very good guy like, for for this. He he is here for the bodybuilding. He is here for talking about uh, all if you need. And uh, I'm I'm a positive guy. And Mauro too. Yep. And uh, yeah. And the and he he works very good. He works very good. You know. I'm feel good with him. And hang on. How's his knee? What? How's his leg in Portugal? Remember he hurt it? <laughs> Lauren was there bitten yeah, yeah. ice ice on his leg. He, he's recovering. He, the leg is recovering, but he just uh, sent me a message today. I want to, to go to the gym because my knee is to be blocked. <laughs> oh, no. oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, yes, this is a, this is a really good man. And... and uh, in Europe, you, you you don't have the the coach. Uh, if you have three athletes in Olympia, you know, and two athletes in Open, because you have Andrea Presti in the Open, me, and you have uh, Daniel Stico in two twelve. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. And and honestly, I make a top two and top three all the year, and Andrea Presti too. He win the pro show. I mm -hmm. win the pro show. You have he he have a lot of good results, you know. Yeah, Andrea looked fantastic last weekend. I can't believe it. he's actually got bigger as well, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and and this is this is uh, really special to share the show with uh, with Andre. Is my concurrent, okay? But uh, he's a good guy too, and he have a very positive vibe on the team. Good, good. Yeah. So obviously the Olympia's in three weeks' time. What's what's your plans? When do you go out, and what are you most looking forward to? <sighs> I don't know, you know, because I want to 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 give my best, but this is my first time, and honestly, I. I'm lucid. I don't know in English. Lucid. What lucid. Uh, I don't have a structure for for make a top eight or top five. You know, this is very. This is too. This is not for the moment. You know, I think top ten. It's. Uh, I think you have twenty two guys for one place in the top yeah. ten. <laughs> yeah, I've you got know? I've got twelve guys in my top six at the moment. 
yeah, yeah, this is, I think you have one place for a mm. lot of people. Uh, it depends what, what, uh, what you are. If I have, a, if the planet is in a good direction for me, I don't know, you know, but honestly, I just want to, to beat the maximum guys. And after, after uh, I just want to take a good experience. I have a base shape. And if I have a base shape, I don't have any regrets, you know. I mean, this is your first Olympia. This is your starting point. This is, like you said, you've done shows all over the world and made top five and top three. Now you're going into the Olympia, which is a whole new level. I mean, you could be numerically stood next to Rami. You know, you could be number yeah. two. He could be number three. You could be stood. Yeah, and yeah. the thing is, at least you get to see what the next level is like. Yeah, and how yeah. you compare. And honestly, I'm very <clears throat> exciting for that. Not afraid, you know? Mm. Because if you, may, if you take Rami be, behind me, I I think I, I give two hundred percent, you know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know because okay, this is Rami, but in my head I say, yeah, ha, I beat him. You know? Nice. <laughs> but no, the, I, I'm like a kid in a, in Olympia because I think it's very important to to look that for to look that to look that like this because uh, when you are young you look Olympia ah wow 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 now this is the same for me I want to have the same uh, Regard in uh, in Olympia, you know, mm. for 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 share the, the the very best moment, and honestly, I'm just disapp disappointed. This is not the the exactly words, but only top ten make a posing. Oh know? no, I know. I was just I was just thinking that. I was just thinking that. Yeah, and honestly, for me, for me, if I made my posing in Olympia, this is a best gift. For me, you know, because yeah. uh, I love the bodybuilding for, for the posing, you know. Mm. And when I start the bodybuilding, I just see the posing routine. Um, I remember, I, I, I don't know what, or, uh, I don't know the name of Mr. Olympia the first time if I if I look the bodybuilding. I don't know Jay Cutler, I don't know uh, Ronnie Coleman, but I know Ed Corney, I know uh, I know Lille Brada, I know Sean Ray, I know, because I like that. For me, that's the bodybuilding. And for this year, I think it's complicated. <laughs> but one time I want to, to, to make the posing in, in Olympia. Well, I spoke to your dad yesterday and he's not going to the Olympia. I was very sad to hear that. What? Your, your dad's not going to the Olympia and I was very sad to hear that. I spoke no, to him, I spoke no, no. To him yesterday. Yeah, my daddy don't come to Olympia, but my mother, he come. Oh, your mother? Yeah, my oh, wow. mother from Olympia. And <laughs> for me, it's very funny to to think, yo, oh, my mother is in Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> for me, it's very cool, you know? Yeah. So how many yeah. Olympias have you been to then? Because you went 2018 where you turned pro. How many have you actually been to and watched? Uh, I don't watch again after because uh, I have the case with... Uh, Another sponsor, Eric Favre, is not possible for me to to um, to leave the, to France, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. But uh, yes, my last time is uh, when Sean he, he win, and this is a very best. Uh, this is a very good um, souvenir. I don't know in English, but because I, I, I share this moment with Sean, I, I'm with Animal and Sean uh, in uh, in 2018. I am. Uh, in the room before the prejudging with Sean and the oh, final. Wow. wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I remember all the time uh, when I when I win the the pro card, I go to the meet Olympia guy, you know, and Sean is on the table. You have a very long line. He see me. He wake up. He go to make me a hug. He say, "Hey, man, welcome on the big lens. Congratulations!" And for me, this is a uh, this yeah. is amazing. <laughs> yes, but he's Sean is there. He's on, um, you know, and uh, uh, I, I think uh, well, we are, I have a special uh, thing for him in Olympia. Yeah, I spoke to um, I spoke to Stanimal about four weeks ago. And we had yeah. a nice conversation about you know like like because I like hearing all the Sean stories because I think it's important to keep those to keep his memory alive and because he was like I loved interviewing Sean Roden. I, I he was always you know, he was, you know, we, we had a good, good vibe going, you know, and I, I, do, I do miss him. I do miss him. And I don't want people to forget yeah, him. Is a, uh, honestly, this is a very, very simply guy and very good man. 
And uh, when I am in Los Angeles, he pay me the Uber, or the, and I don't uh, want nothing. But Sean, he, he tell that, and the and when you are with Sean, he, you feel specially. I don't know uh, explain that, but Sean, you uh, Sean, he he, he he make you specially all the time, you know, with all the people. I think he, he li- I think he liked who he liked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? I think if he liked you, he liked you. I remember he said to me once. He said, "He said, uh, he said, I'll only do interviews with you, Giles, and and one, uh, Dave Belay, one other guy." He said, "You're the only two guys I want to do interviews with." I was like, "Wow, thank you so much." You know, but he's yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, no, but uh, yeah, I come to the Olympia with all this uh, yeah souvenir, and uh, and I want to make a, a great show. So when do you fly out, mate? Uh, Friday. This Friday. This Friday, I leave to the America and uh, wow. <laughs> yes, yes, and I pre- and for the the two weeks, I uh, I make some training in in Vegas with Stanimal too because Stanimal he live in Las Vegas. He he know all the people in Las Vegas and for make some promotion and uh, and some preparation uh, here. Yeah, good. My first Olympian man. That's so cool. That's so cool. Yeah, no, yeah, it's, it's cool. Honestly, it's cool because when I when I start the bodybuilding, I never think I participate to Olympia. You know, mm. this is not um, this is not my objective. You know, mm-hmm. because I I want to to have step by I want to to continue step by step, and all the time I say, okay, uh, I'm good. I just want to I I just want to uh, to win this show. I don't want. Uh, uh, I, I nothing tell I want my pro card, you know. Yeah. But he's arrived. I never tell I want to go to Olympia, but he's arrived. And I prefer like this because you don't have any frustration. Yeah. You know, any frustration, and uh, all we make, you are happy, you know. And I want to be happy <laughs> in my life. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. just um. Of all the events you've done in the last couple of years, wh- which was your favorite and why? Oh, the, the special. Oh, I don't know. New York is amazing because uh, in New York you have all the star in the public, you know, mm-hmm. in the backstage. You can say, hello, how are you? And then I say, wow. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nick Walker, Sean Clarida, all the people. It's amazing, but... Uh, the big, uh, the big event. This is Arnold Classic for me in UK, and uh, I remember when the Englishman he come on the stage. You are the public, wow, like a football, you know. Really, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very, very nice, but uh, I don't know. And the the, the best light is in uh, Estoril. In where? Uh, Estoril in Portugal. Oh, Portugal! Yeah, of course, the revolving stage. Yeah, yeah, you have the yeah, best lights yeah. and all the show. You have the the particularity, you know. Mm. Yeah. So, I mean, do you think you'll end up staying in France, or do you see yourself moving elsewhere in the world? Next year, I I want to to move for for discover uh, the world and athletes and the different um, method of uh, of rock you know mm. in the training i talk uh, i talk about that with brett last week he said yeah come on come with me if you want to to make some training i want to come with brett i want to come with jan with you know the the hard worker on the yeah. team yeah not the the best famous bodybuilder but i just want to um, to uh to keep the advice of uh, the good worker because jan this is not the best structure of the bodybuilding but he improved a lot who, sorry, who's this? Jan Valier. Oh, Valier. Oh, cool. Yeah, very hard worker. Not the, this, is, this is not the, the best structure of bodybuilding, but he improved a lot the back. Uh, why, why he make for that, you know? Yeah. I'm curious. I want to share this, you know? And I want to, to discover a lot of, uh, of uh, hard worker, you know, for, for know uh, what is work for me, you know, because I want to improve my physique. And I want to discover other people. I want to share a good time. I like a human people, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I want to 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 go to the Brazil probably 
just for for see the the country and because all the time the people say wow the, the Brazil the people is crazy with the yes. yes yes and I, I want to discover that you know because I think uh, I think you have a lot of place for for take a good uh, a good uh, advice you know I think Brazil right now I think is the it's in terms of bodybuilding in the last few years it's just absolutely exploded and the athletes are so they're like they're like soccer stars you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a soccer star. All the people we, we talk, uh, I talk with the people. He he make a show in Brazil. He say, "Wow, this is like a stadium." He's a crazy <laughs> guy, crazy, crazy, crazy. And I want to, I want to discover that. And I think it's good to my promotion too. You know, because now I want to um, to upgrade my name in the league too. You yeah, know? you did. Thing is, I mean, you twenty twenty one. I felt like you made. Everyone then knew who you were, but I feel like this year you've taken another step up again. Yeah, yeah, I think because when you we win one pro show, the in the head of all in the head of all of judge, it's possible to win. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know. And yeah, before yeah. this is not possible. Now it's possible. Yeah. <laughs> the thing is, even in Alicante, I was thinking because I know I I could tell they they had the top two, Presti and Brett, because that's yeah. who they brought out. You know, they moved them. Yeah. I was like, okay, then, okay, and um, and I thought I thought third and fourth was between you and Mutsi because, because Mazali don't use me a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, seriously, you do, it, yeah, it's like um, this year, this year, Bill Sibilia used me a lot of time. Mm -hmm. I think if it's Bill, it's possible to have a tattoo with me. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, because um, like Kokeni, uh, Bella, the, from Hungary, he was yeah. third with Steve Weinberger. He was third next to Crusoe in, in, in Prague. And mm -hmm. then a few weeks later in Alicante, last weekend, the big man, he was like 14th and he didn't look much different, you know, because, you know, it's just, it's just, it is sometimes different judging panels can, can, can bring different results, even, yeah. even with very yeah. good judges as well like that. Yeah, for sure. Because this is not the realm like athletic uh, sport, you know, mm. this is not the chronometer. Okay, you have uh, you you have lot of um, of uh, well shit. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a criteria, okay, mm -hmm. but you you have you have a place for for uh, for I don't know for for not uh, about the judgment. This is the judgment of the judge, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Explain very good. Okay, no, I can't. I can't I, I kind of get what you're trying to say. I get what you're trying to say. Um, so another thing in expectation, you know, you have yeah, expectation, expectation. expectation. Yeah, yeah. So you must be. I mean, the sponsors must be very happy with you. Is it all going well? The sponsors. What your sponsors? Your first sponsorship. <laughs> ah, yeah. Okay. We. Oui. Wow, no, this is your England accent. Sorry, you know? sorry. sorry. I'm, I'm actually Welsh, but there you go. No problem. Yeah, no, no, no. This person is very happy with me because um, because when I when I signed my the, with uh, with Yamamoto after I, I make just top three and yeah. uh, and win, he is very happy. I make a good job in the France. Uh, he, he works very good in uh, eye shopping. And uh, no, no, no. I have a very good uh, relation with uh, with Yamamoto. I'm happy to to be with us and uh, Sylvia, the team managers. I have a good relation for him. He, he is very happy to to my uh, parcours. Yeah. In one way, because in many ways, you're a very, very good person to sponsor because you you look good in every show. You do plenty of shows. You you're not afraid to travel to yeah. fly to different places. You don't just do one show in your country per year, two shows and shut it down when nobody else gets to see you. Like you're, 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 you're getting yourself out there. You're really, do you know what I mean? You're very, and you're making a good impression in every single show now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I think the Yamamoto is not crazy. You see that. And it's why, why after the America is resigned my contract and I have a new contract good. with uh, yeah, it was a good thing, <laughs> you know, but uh, because he, he trusts in me in the future, you know, mm. and yes, I'm I'm hope I'm I am home already all the time for for whole for show for promotion for whole for all because I want to live uh, one hundred percent my life and this in future, you know, and yes, I'm already I'm not afraid to be to to make a show in all the world. When I am in America, I I make three show in three weeks. Yeah. 
Yeah, Christ, yeah, yeah. yeah. So New York, think, Toronto, yeah, yeah. Uh, New York, San Diego, Toronto in three weeks. Yeah, that's incredible. Yeah. That's incredible. That's a lot of traveling, a lot of a uh, lot of competing and stuff. And yeah, it's incredible. Yeah, but but uh, but you know, I, I tell you at the debut of the interview, uh, I think twenty years ago the the many makes the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He made the same. Kevin Leveron, uh, Milo Sasev, all the guys, he made the same. Hang on a minute. Ronnie said to me, he said, we did eight shows is it eight shows in 11 days. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. It was something ridiculous. Those six, seven shows in eight day, 11 days. And it, like just like the Grand Prix tours, you know? Constantly, yeah, yeah, yeah. constantly. I used to, I used to go to them. I went to him in, when I was 16 years old in 1992, and I saw Dorian Yates day after the Olympia. It was, yeah, wow, incredible, incredible. Yeah, yeah. The, why, why, why the people we don't make that? I don't know. Mm. Theo, also, um, I, I said I would ask, but Ron Harris always gets your last name horribly wrong. <laughs> so, so Ron, Ron, if you're watching, I know you're watching. This is how Theo says his last name. Le Guerrier. <laughs> oh, I, hang on, I've not, even I've been getting it wrong. I, I remember in New York, Bob Chichewillo, he say, okay, man, what is your last name? <laughs> Bob Chichewillo, you know? Say, um, Tiro Le Guerrier. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think, I think the worst one was, um, it was a lady MC. Yeah. It was a lady MC on the mic. And I, I, she, 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 Le Garuria or something. I can't, no, it was worse than that. It was actually worse. I was just like, even I know that's not right. You know, not. Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember Bobby. He, he tell me to tell me in the phonetic. Yes. And he script on the on the on the list. You know. Yeah, Le Garuria. No, look. Yeah. England boy and uh, and you and American boys. Le, the R. This is complicated for for him. Okay, I'm even I'm lost now, so there you go. <laughs> and Le Guerrier. Le Guerrier. Le Guerrier. Le Guerrier. In the, yeah, Le Guerrier. Yeah. yeah this is a in the translate, in perfect translate, this is a warrior. Oh. What? I'm not even saying that. No, warrior. A warrior. A warrior. Okay, I thought you were speaking French. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, in the French, this is a warrior. Yeah. Cool. Sorry, the, the screen just froze then, and I, was, I thought he was just looking at me like in disbelief, but it was actually... The, we, the, the screen actually just froze there. So <laughs> Lauren's laughing. Right, Theo, um, mate, I'm going to let you go, but thank you so much for coming to MD Global Muscle, mate. I really appreciate it. And yeah. um, and I'll see you at the Olympia. We'll both be at the Olympia. So looking forward to seeing you. So at the Meet the Olympians, I'm going to come come to you for an interview. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'll and thank you for all, thank you for all the followers, all the support, and especially of you too, because you make a very good job for the bodybuilder. And I appreciate a lot because you are all the time positive guys. When you have the, the problem of your health, you have positive too. And it's very important to share the positive vibe for all the people, you know, because the world need this. All the people need this. And I especially like you for that. And uh, just thank you. And also thank you for the message you sent me when I was in hospital, mate. I really appreciate it. Yeah, but I think it's normally, you know, this is uh, you uh, you you give what do you, what uh, uh, if you give the positivity, the positivity go with you, you know. Yeah. You know, it for it's normal. It's just simply, but just a smile, just a message, just a support. This is nothing for you, but this is this is uh, this is uh, this is all for for other people, you know. Yeah, no, I really appreciate it. It was really, really, because um, like I said, that was a very scary experience and I really do appreciate, you know, yourself and other people that in the industry that did reach out to me personally. And I re it really meant a lot, mate. It really, it really did. Thank you. Yeah, no, for me, it's, it's normally, Jill. And you, and I tell you, you are positive men and you need to positive too, you know? <laughs> yeah, and true. I, yeah. I want to share your positivity. <laughs> yeah. Well, 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 uh, we're all, all doing well now, thank God. So, um, so mate, I will. I'll. I'll see you at the in Vegas then. Yeah, for sure. I'm. I'm in the Vegas. I wait for you. Okay. Okay, then, mate. And I'm. I'm looking for. I'm building up now to say an au revoir now. <laughs> and please, please push my name for make a posing in the top ten. <laughs> yes. Oh yeah. Well, take your music. Take your music because it, it could happen, mate. It could happen because. Uh, in the case. I, in the case, I make a music. Because I tell you what, surely, surely people can't be underestimating or feeling like you are underrated now because you've done so many shows. You've proven yourself more than probably 
just about any competitor in the pro league. I mean, you've you've consistently proven yourself for two years, top yeah. five in probably close to a dozen shows, maybe more. That's that's something to be really noted. Yeah, I hope. I hope. <laughs> cool. All right, then, mate. Well, safe travels, and we'll see you out in a sunny Las Vegas. Yeah. All right. Then. Thanks. Okay. Thank you, Theo, Thank and you I'll speak to you soon, mate. Thank you. Cheers, bye, Jill. Bye, bye. bye. Okay, guys, and welcome back to MD Glow Muscle Hot News for Season 5 episode. I've completely forgotten uh, because obviously I haven't been filming for the last couple of weeks. I had a bit of bad news. I'll tell you that at the end of this hot news. Um, yes, yeah, so I haven't been seen for the last couple of weeks, but we're back this week. And, and obviously we're getting very close to the Olympia now. And um, I want to talk a little bit about the Big Man Weekend and a quick recap on Romania, even though it was a couple of weeks ago. But obviously there's been no Globe Muscle since then. Um, so first of all, I want to get straight into the Instagram account of our, our very special guest, Theo Legeria. Theo Legeria. Do you know, um, I completely forgot I actually gave him a nickname. Le Grand Fromage. Can you speak French? Uh, is he on Pizza? Well, what does Le Grand Fromage then mean? Ah, the big cheese. Yeah. His dad, because his dad messaged me, Patrick Legedia, messaged me the other day, and he said, um, and he said, Legrand Fromage. And I was like, oh, God, I've completely forgot I gave Theo that name. I wonder if it'll stick. No. I've given a few bodybuilders a few. <laughs> no, I like it. I like it. Yeah, because, um, yeah, I'm sure that's bordering on racism, actually, when I get, when I keep sending him all the. I jumped on his live the other day and I said, Juma, Juma Pella Bicyclette. And he said right at the end, he says, Gilles, I will message you back right away <laughs> to come on here. So, uh, yeah, just uh, just me being really silly, really, basically. Uh, so no change there. Right, so let's go into, uh, obviously, the Alicante. He won the, the the Spain show earlier in the month that was a qualifier for the 2022 Olympia. Theo won that one. Um, and was uh, it was no surprise to see him jumping into the big man weekend because, obviously, that was a qualifier for the 2023 Olympia. And um, he got, took third. Uh, I mean, no, I don't think anyone argued if he'd have won that, you know. Because I tell you what, when you look to the lineup, he's he's a little bit more complete than Andrea. Um, I, I, to, to be honest, to be fair, that th top three was very, very close, very close, very close. And I'm not copying out there because it was. Um, obviously, the head judge uh, Mazzanelli saw it as between Brett Wilkin and uh, Andrea Presti, um, but Theo looked really good in life. And I said, like, I, I like it when he does that superhero pose. Do you know what? I used to do that. I think he's caught, I think he's actually, what I think he's done, I think he's seen old DVDs of me competing from freaking, freaking years ago and he's copied me. I just think he has. No, he hasn't. No. Or, just or maybe I'm just talking shit. Um, <laughs> no, he does that because I used to, I could, I always felt silly standing like I was pushing an invisible shopping trolley. I don't like it when no, I just, and some guys do it. I just, no, I just, I used to think oh, I'm going to stand here looking cool with my, with my fists, like, like Superman, you know, like Superman, but obviously with no cape. Or S on my chest, just a pair of sparkly trunks. But uh, Theo does that, and when he does that shot, that that is a signature shot. Because thing is, if there's one pose you want to look good in, it's the front relaxed, isn't it? Because that's where that's where the judges are scanning their eyes across the lineup, and that's the first thing they see. So Theo looks absolutely phenomenal in that pose. I'll see if I can find him, uh, find that shot. So here he is, obviously from last weekend. Um, his front lat spread's good, isn't he? But you know what thing with Theo? He's so complete. His physique is so complete. Look at that. I mean, he's not missing anything. He looks good in every single compulsory pose. He's a fantastic poser. He consistently brings good conditioning. I've never seen him off. Yeah, lovely. It, it, I mean, he is really good. And I, th I think, I don't think we can call him underrated anymore because I think everyone surely by now must know how good Theo Legedia is. Because um, I think he said he's done maybe 12, it's something like that. It was eight shows this year, five or six shows last year. And he was either top five or top three in every single one of them. So that is, that's, that's a hell of an achievement. Uh, and that's a, that's a great record because like I said, some guys, you know, they'll do like four, five, six shows and they either start off strong and they get, they fade or some guys start off kind of less good and get better as the shows go along. But Theo manages to just maintain incredible conditioning, fullness for every single show. And he actually, he actually gets better. He's actually, I'm going to say, I think this, this look last weekend in Alicante, the big man weekend, I think it was his best yet. I think he just looked really, really polished, really professional. He looked like kind of like the way Lee Labrada from the 90s used to pay attention so much to every aspect, the hair, the skin, everything. Like he said, he said in the interview, he scrubs his skin. He does uh, colonics. He does, he takes antioxidants. He takes a lot of kind of health supplements, not just bodybuilding supplements, guys. Make sure you take your health supplements. Collagen. 
college. Yeah, he takes college. I mean, he's 30 years old. He doesn't need collagen. Come on. He <laughs> needs collagen. Well, you're 30 as well. My God, you're the same age as Theo. Oh, oh my God. I'm old enough to be both your fathers. <laughs> if I was um, very promiscuous at 16. <laughs> oh, this is the video I liked. I saw this. I think, I don't know who took this. Um, this is really good footage. Look at this quality. Look at that. I tell you what. I mean, that was close. That's close. It's, it's, I mean, like I said, every single compulsory posy looks good. Mm, I tell you what, watch out, watch out for this guy as well, Pablo. Uh, like, I can't remember the last, it's, I can't remember that. Yeah, but um, look at Theo. The, it's Theo's shoulders, isn't it? He's got yeah. massive shoulders. But look at his... Um, but he's aesthetic, isn't he? Yeah. He's big, he's aesthetic, he's conditioned. Um, Brett's, I think Brett's best pose is the side tricep and the rear double bicep. That was the knockout shots for me. Uh, really happy to see Brett to get a... Um, get a qualification for next year's Olympia um, because obviously last year, early this year, he was one of the favourites going into the Arnold Classic, took sixth place. Um, he was disappointed. Fans were disappointed. He came, uh, he left it right to the end of the, the year, the season to do the Romanian Muscle Fest, took second place behind Beirut's Tabani. We'll come to that a bit more in, later. And um, yeah, so, it, you know, really it was kind of, everything was on the line for that show, but then he decided to stay in Spain and then do this show and he won it and got a qualification and also Ivana's pregnant so it's uh you know the pressure's off for qualifying for next year but um yeah it's, it's Theo so I just totally distracted by Theo side tricep there but uh let's have another look what else we what else we got on here this was uh the morning of the show I think or the day before uh would have been well that would have been at the yeah because you can see a suitcase there uh, yeah. <laughs> suitcase so he's literally just got there but he's um He's awesome, Theo. I really rate him. And I'm so glad to see that he's finally kind of getting that recognition. He's got finally got a first pro win in Alicante. And um, he's this is this was in Alicante at the NPC Europa. Was it three weeks ago now? Four weeks ago? No. Two, three, four, through? Two. No, two weeks. Two weeks. Two happened. weeks ago was Romania. Yes. I can't, I can't. Do you know what? I actually can't keep track of all the shows because there have been so many events. Um, so this was Theo uh, winning... The NPC Europa. <laughs> so golden. Yeah. It's, 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 it, do you know what, though? Peop, one of the things that people forget about, people say, oh, he's got a great color, great tan. Why did the tan look so good on him? And the same tan on different, different competitors look not as good. A lot of it's to do with skin preparation. Mm. I used to scrub my skin raw every single day when I was prepping. And do you know what? You come out of the shower and you've been at the hot shower and all the veins are up and you just think, oh, my God, I look like I've gained two weeks of condition. Because think about it, if the dead skin cells are on top of the skin, it's going to blur the condition, isn't it? What? No, it's just fine. Like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. It's true. It stands to reason. Think about it. It's logic. Come on, Lauren. Get with the program. <laughs> it, but that's what that's what Theo does. So when you, if your skin's clean and it's thin, because obviously it's been you know scrubbed away, um, you know, all the dead skin and all that and everything else, if it's clean, the tan and the sheen is going to go on better. It stands to reason. It's basic logic. So look at that. It's a great poser, isn't he? I do wish he'd do a choreograph routine, though. No, do you don't think it works for that look that looks like a choreographed routine? It only works for some people. It's yeah. That, do you know what, Lauren? That you're correct, actually. It, you know, Cedric Millen used to do that, and you wouldn't be, you wouldn't be able to tell whether his routine was choreographed or not choreographed. But um, it's nice to see just good creative kind of flamboyant. Uh, is that the word flamboyant? Sounds a bit fruity. <laughs> <laughs> so, but. Um, but yeah, no, it's, it's that kind of creative flair. That's the word I'm looking for, flair, not flamboyant. Flamboyant sounds a bit, you know. Fruity. Fruity. <laughs> fruity, darling. Yes. Uh, What's a good way of putting it? Le aubergine. Right, and there's obviously, that's a nice picture of him with his dad, Patrick, there, because obviously he won the show and then his dad ran on stage, you know, but um, um, I'm not reading that because it's in French. So, and my French, as we've, as we've been proven many, many times, is not the greatest. So, uh, oui. Sound like Mr. Bean now. Have you ever seen that? Uh, uh, oui. Yeah. Just, I can't remember. Was that the film? The film, Mr. Bean film. Mr. Bean on holiday when he goes to France. Of course it is. He goes to Cannes. And he just goes around saying, oui, to saying we to everyone. So, anyway, go watch it. It's a great film. <laughs> Americans, do they watch Mr. Bean? I don't know. I reckon they do. They watch, they watch Benny Hill and um, Pink oh, Floyd. Not Pink Floyd. Oh, What's what they called? The bloody uh, Monty Python. Monty Python. I'm rambling now, aren't I? Yes. I'm getting a bit excited because my first week back <laughs> and it's the Olympian three weeks. So uh, anyway, so yeah, so... Oh, there's more pictures now. I'm going to check that out. Yeah, we want to see the physique. Come on. Yeah, look. Who's that? Is that his dad? No, it's not his dad. 
So that's that. Look, I mean, he's, do you know what? He's very deceiving because he, I mean, he almost looks like men's physique there. And then he gets, no, I mean, a big men's physique. No, no I mean, if you squint, no, no, he does massive. Yeah. But he's, he's, I reckon a downsized version would be great in men's physique though. No. He's too, but he is actually, when you see him next to the other pros on stage, you realize just how big Theo is. I mean, he is, he's a really big dude. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> Oh, well, drinking some white wine there. That's what you drink. That's what we used to drink the night before the show. It ch chills you out. So I'm going to look at one more picture there. Yeah, look at the condition and look at the density, the thickness. And the thing is, it's nice to see. I think we all want to see aesthetics within the open as well. Just because they're open guys doesn't mean they have to be big, monstrous blobs. Do you know what I mean? It's like like Cedric, um, Cedric McMillan, Sean Roden, you know, um, guys like that, you know, physiques with, um, who would you say, Lauren, okay, who would you say of all the modern pros competing, say, the last year or two, who would you say is the most aesthetic open pro? Samson. Samson, oh shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm speaking of later. Oh yeah, just, I, yeah, yeah, that's, a, yeah, very, yeah. I was, I was actually struggling to think of one there that was really, like, the most, but that's a really obvious one. And there's a guy that's, like, 285 pounds on stage. I think he's going to do very well at the Olympia, by the way. So I think I've got fifth to eighth in my head. Here we are. Let's have a look at this. There's Maru there. Recognize his head. <laughs> yeah, he looks great. He's a very, it's a mass with class, isn't it? Mass with class. Yeah. That's what you can say. Uh, I'm trying to think of some dodgy, silly French words, but I can't think of any right now. So I want to look at one more picture. I don't know who that is. Is that one of the, oh, that must be one of the, I think that's one of the ladies from Yamamoto, obviously, because he's a Yamamoto sponsored athlete. Um, yeah, looks great. Looks great. Yeah, fantastic. So happy that he got his first pro win. It's Rob Cannon, look. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I tell you what, he's a couple of small tweaks, and I think he could be a great pro. I think he could be a great pro. This is the British pro that turned pro at the NPC Euro European last year. And um, this was, he, he, he did the Arnold UK, he did Alicante, and did, did he in Prague? Was he in Prague? Yeah, he was in Prague, wasn't he? He was in Romania. He was in Romania, definitely. Because uh, obviously we we're there doing live stream. Uh, we'll come to that in a bit. And, um, yeah, so, okay, I've lost, lost track there. Right, okay then. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I just wanted to bring up the Theo there because I feel like like Theo's really, like I think 2021 was the year that Theo really arrived, but I feel like he's really rubber stamped it and gone up a level. He's more polished He's and, and he's really shown just how consistent he is because he's done New York, he's done Puerto Rico, he's been all over the world competing and he's had top threes or top fives, fourth at the New York Pro um, so he's doing really, really well. So yeah, so it's great to get him on. And like I said, it's nice to kind of uh, see these guys continually rise in the pro ranks. Okay, I'm going to go to the Big Man Weekend. Uh, let's have a look at the winner. This was, this was, oh, it's, it's not like a video of Brett Wilkins. It's like a kind of promotional video. Um, do we put the sound on? Oh, no, take that off. So yeah, so this is the... Um, so this was a joint uh, promotion between uh, Emilio Martinez, the IPB Pro Spain, uh, with uh, uh, João Henriques, the Portugal promoter, obviously owns, owns the big man gym that I've been to in Portugal. Took Brandon Curry there in 2020. There's Andrea Presti. Recognize that crazy back anywhere and the sh crazy shoulder width. Um, that was the ring that Brett Wilkin won. That was the lady that won... Was that the lady that won Spain last year and beat yeah. Ashley in Romania? Right. Okay. So yeah, there we are. There's Theo. Wow. Look at that. So look at the tr look at the medals. You know, the winner got a big like proper like silver ring and everything. With um, I mean, it's just so cool. The, I like it when promoters go to these kind of le the lengths of, you know, the the, the finishing touches and the, you know the, and just like the just the, so many just added things that they do to make these events. Because I really feel like IFB Pro League events have gone to another level this year. Is is it just me? They have, haven't they? Like, it's just, I mean, the live stream quality is like 4K. They've obviously got the best live stream commentators, so obviously they've gone to another level. Yes, and also don't forget, yes. Exactly. <laughs> self plug. Self -plug. Um, what? Don't forget, we've also come out of the year of COVID. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, but uh, yeah, probably so they're really, obviously the promoters are really going for it. Everything will feel like another level because we've had a year where we didn't have audiences. Yeah. Kind of yeah, because Romania this year was the first year they've had uh, uh, audience since 2019. So it was busy. It was a great show, wasn't it? Fantastic. Yeah. That's a nice artistic picture of Theo there. Who's the photographer? I don't know this guy. Um, who is this? And let's just zoom in. Andreas Soriano. Nice pictures, mate. Yeah, I like it. Yeah. Uh, Jonathan Mario, you've got competition. <laughs> so here we, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, who's this? 
Okay, it's just kind of all photographs. Let's have a look at Brett. Let's want to look at Brett. Um, yeah, he looked absolutely fantastic. As soon as he turned to the back and hit the rear double bicep and the rear lat spread, it was game over because conditioning, he really kind of, he, he polished up a lot since uh, Romania and he did that only like two or three weeks and um, so happy for him, you know, getting his win. Um, can you believe he used to be classic? He then he did classic in 2018. 2019, he came back as a 212 and then he came back in 2021, took center, second to Hunter Labrada in Tampa and he's been an open guy ever since. So he's done three three divisions like uh, Stanimal. Stanimal did uh, three divisions. He, he did men's physique, classic, and then open. So I wonder if you'll ever see guys do four. Men's physique, classic, 212 and open. Yeah, there's a lot of guys going up from 212 to open as well. There's uh, Kokeni Bella from Hungary, who was third place in uh, Prague at the EVLS. Then there's Alvid, uh, Alfred Vlad Shiriak, who we had on a few episodes ago. He was um, he was a two twelve moved up to open and also en Enrico Hoffman from Germany. You really like his physique, don't you? Yeah. He's awesome, isn't he? And I'm glad he got some love at um, Romania. Took third, absolutely incredible. So let's have a quick look on here. I want to see. What oh, this was um, I tell this was for me. Uh, Andre Mozzi was probably the biggest shock, uh, positively of the big man weekend. I thought this was the best. Uh, Andrea Mutzi, uh, Andrea, sorry, Andrea Muzilla, uh, Mutzi. Um, sorry, yeah, his name's, they call him Muzilla, but his name is Mutzi. I felt like, I don't like this picture though. It makes him look, it looks chest, back looks, looks small. He's not, his chest and back ain't small. Um, and I, as soon as he walked out, I watched the live stream and I was really, really impressed because I thought he was really starting to drop off and fade. And I think he looked absolutely fantastic here. I thought his tan, his sheen, his condition, his fullness, he looked absolutely freaking huge. And um, I think he got, I think he took sixth place. Um, and I, I maybe would have had him a couple of spates, a couple of spots higher um, because I just thought, I thought he really brought it. I thought it was between him and uh, third for um, the way the judges were positioning him. I thought third place was between him and Theo. So yeah, it was really, a really good show. Um, let's, oh, also we had uh, Mohamed Shaban as well on the big man weekend. A uh, bit of a last minute entry, a bit of a surprise entry. He took um, fourth place behind Theo. Looked really, really good. Is qualified for the Olympia, so I guess he had nothing to lose by jumping into this show. Um, I love uh, Mohamed Chaban. He's from LA, originally from um, Egypt. Uh, lives there in LA with his wife. Uh, does the cookie company. Um, good guy. Another, another obviously, uh, another great bodybuilder from Egypt, like Big Rami. And, um, I think he does eat cookies sometimes. <laughs> Jan Turek, uh, obviously he was second place in Prague, looked absolutely fantastic in Prague, looked good in, wow, Romania. no, Romania, yeah, sorry, fourth of Romania, I can't keep up with the shows, and I think he was 11th place here, um, there's Milan Shadek, I think he was 8th place in the big man weekend, uh, this was Diogo, Do Diogo, I'm sure it's Diogo, he's, he was really good, I think he's another guy we need to keep an eye out on. Um, Andrea Mutzi, like I said, I thought he looked absolutely fantastic. On the live stream, he looked he looked complete knockout. He looked f phenomenal. Uh, Pablo is a guy from Spain. Apparently, he's very, very young. So I'm, I'm guessing he's in his 20s. I think we really need to keep an eye out on this guy because I think he is one to watch. Yeah. I'm so impressed by what he brought in his last few shows. Yeah. He was sixth place in Spain a few weeks ago, the one that Theo won. Um, and he was, was he fifth in Romania? Yeah. Yeah, was he fifth? And then the R10 was fourth, or was it the other way around? Yeah, I remember him being number 13 in Romania. He had no broken shot. Yeah, he was fourth or fifth in Romania. So he's had he's had two, two top sixes, and where was he in Spain? I can't remember now. So there's Theo. That's not the best shot. I don't like that. Uh, Sibu's sister was seventh. Um, looked very, very good. Um, I think I actually think Theo is actually... Um, Theo. I think um, Sibu's sister has actually got one of the yeah. biggest potentials. Yeah, Sibu's sister, yeah. Yeah. Looks sad, doesn't he? Well, he's in South Africa now. Yeah. Why does he look sad? I don't know. He's just probably serious on stage. I mean, he's, he looks good. I mean, I've seen him in slightly better condition, but um, uh, Alfred Kiriak as well. Didn't get a very good placing in Spain. I was disappointed. Um, but he's had a good season. His first open open season. Um, he had a second in Tsunami to James Holland's head. And then uh, he's had a couple of good placings since. I think he was third in Spain behind Theo. And in this show, he just wasn't even looked at. So I think it just didn't quite look as hard when he came out in the pre-judge. He didn't stand out as much as he did, certainly at the tsunami. This was the Canadian. Uh, needs to sort his conditioning out, but absolutely huge. 
So, um, yep, so there we go. Right, okay, I'm going to go on to... Uh, I want to give a big shout-out to Jonathan Morio because Jonathan is one of the best photographers in Europe right now. He's working so hard. Great guy. Helps me sort all my pictures out with uh, in my column. He's very, very gracious with that and very, very helpful. So I do appreciate that. Very good photographer. Only a young guy. Only been going for three, four years now. And uh, videography and photography, he is absolutely smashing it right now. And uh, very, very talented. Very, very hardworking. Because like I said, I used to photograph the shows and it's hard work. And now the shows have got, you know, 300 more categories. It's hard. It's hard work, I tell you. And he's, he's, you know, and he's running. And he's not one of these guys who just sits there with his foot on the tripod taking the pictures. He's running around. He's going to the stage. He's coming to the side of the stage. He's trying to get those artistic, creative shots. And I really like that. I really respect that. But um, as you can see, his photography is absolutely amazing. And he's very fast as well. Like, like literally when we had the group shot uh, we were at the after party in Romania, he was sending the group, uh, the photos on the group chat. And I was like, well, he's at the, how is he doing that? He's at the party. So he must've been doing it on his phone at the party when we were all drinking wine and just chilling with Jake and Alina and everybody else no, and he, Billy. He couldn't have because his thing was blocked. What? His thing was blocked. What was blocked? His account. Well, the photos are coming, the photos are coming off the group chat because I saw them. Unless somebody else did it. Okay. Unless he has an assistant, you know, but, um, sorry. On the what? <laughs> okay so there's brett that's not the best shot sorry i'm sorry sorry jonathan um but uh, yes yeah, so i just wanted to give uh some some appreciation to jonathan because he's like i said he's at the, he's at all the shows does a lot of traveling as well and uh, it's great to see new talent you know working closely with the promoters like emilio like joe like barbara uh bagnola from from italy um like joe from uh, portugal you know it's it's great to see them all kind of collaborating and, and and supporting each other uh also very very happy to see roman fritz there in fifth place because he was eighth in romania and i don't think he was very happy with that and i thought he looked fantastic i think he should have been fifth or sixth in romania and um yeah very big improvements there to the upper body and uh, see like this shots like that i mean you have to get right up to the stage to get that kind of photo you know what i mean You've got to get right in. And it's like, you know, it's exhausting. You're crouching down, getting up, going back. You know, and sometimes you're operating two cameras. It's uh, it's tough. I tell you, what, I've done it. Man. I, I'm back in the 35 millimeter days. Um, I did some some digital. Uh, did a couple of Grand Prix and a couple of Olympia. Sorry, an Olympia and Alano Classic. But um, so much easier now. But uh, yeah, so let's look at one more picture and then I'll move on to the next account. But see, th see Theo, look. Look at, this, just look at the size of Theo compared to the others. I mean, you think that Shaban would absolutely dwarf Theo, but it's actually the other way around. Do you agree? Do you concur? Yeah. That's a good shot of Brett, mind. His front wall bicep isn't actually his best shot, but I think he's hit it differently here. And maybe that's to do because he went to see Dorian Yates oh. in Marbella. And I think Dorian did tweak a few of his poses. So that's, um, I'm very happy to see that. But uh, look at Theo there, man. Yeah. God, look at the, see the conditioning. Like all this, I mean, he's got the stripy, stripy delts, stripy chest, stripy glutes. He's got, he's got the full set. He's got the full set. Yeah. <laughs> he's got royal flush. <laughs> stripy ass, stripy shoulder, stripy chest. So that's what I feel like Shaban, um, Mohammed Shaban lacks a bit of the kind of fine details. Uh, maybe it's a conditioning issue. Maybe it's something else. I don't know. But um, I mean, Shaban is an absolutely incredible physique. He's been 10th place in the Olympia. So, you know, you don't get top 10 Olympia by fluke. So, yeah, I see that's the shot. Look at Brett there. Look at that. Everything's popping and jumping off the bone there. Um, also, a very good shot for the other three as well. So, really, really good. Yeah, that was the shot. I mean, look at look at Brett Wilkins' glutes and hams there. Look at how deeply carved and separated and detailed sorry, and dry they are. I mean, that is absolutely phenomenal. So, right, okay, we're going to go off this. I'm going to go to the next account. I'm going to go to one of my favorite accounts. Well, my favorite account, Bodybuilders Without Borders. Um, I want to show a couple of things on here briefly. Oh, also, uh, Neil Curry coming down nicely. Uh, still got 11 pounds to go. Because what was he when he came here? Because he came here for season five, episode one, the first episode, when I started back, obviously, after my recovery. And uh, gave me an absolutely fantastic interview, you know, face to face in the studio, drove all the way. He was bang on time. I think we said one o'clock and I think he turned up at 12.59, pulled up on the drive. Yeah. I really, really, I was so, I was so, that I had a, I had a good feeling as soon as he arrived. I thought, okay, this is going to be great. So I'm really rooting for Neil because he said he wants to be top 10 at the Olympia in the classic. Now you think top 10, he's New York pro champion. Maybe he should be top three, top five, but there is over, there's nearly 70 guys in the classic Olympia this year. So it's going to be absolutely insane. And um, I've been following his progress pictures and he's just got better, better every single week. Um, 
because I think he has to get down to, is it 215? I think he has to get to, oh, better than Dino. Oh, God, don't say that. Brazilian fans will lynch you, mate. So, so yeah, so I just want to give a quick shout out there to Neil Curry. He looks absolutely fantastic. Um, what else do I want to see? There's not much I want to see on it, actually. Um, uh, do I want to talk about Good Vito, maybe briefly, who obviously turned pro. Uh, 25 year old uh, Alexander. I can't see. Ogel. O- 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 I just wrote an article on I should know his name. But we call him Good Vita. That's his Instagram handle. So that's how people refer to him. Like Seabum and, you know, whatever. Um, Yurishna. What's Yurishna's name? Ayala. Oh, is it? Is that is, is Yurishna a last name? No, it's a first name. Yurishna Ayala. Oh, I thought, it was, <laughs> I thought it was the other way around. Yeah, but they, they go by sort of uh, an easy re- to remember name, distinctive name. Um, so, yeah, this guy's 25 years old. He got his pro card in Brazil at the Muscle Contest. And uh, a great future, incredible back, amazing legs, uh, real work in progress. As you can see, he needs a bit more detail going up, going on in the upper body. But um, I mean, look at, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Whoa. Wait till you see his lat spread. It's absolutely mind blowing. So, so yeah, so that was, that was the, um, I, I wouldn't say it's a foregone conclusion because obviously there's very good, I mean, this guy's very good. Um, the stand in Brazil is very, very high. And of course, there's people coming from all over the world like uh, good veto to come and compete. In fact, um, he's now living in, in Brazil. He's moved from Russia to Brazil. So obviously a lot more opportunities for sponsorships and, and things like that in Brazil because bodybuilding in Brazil is, is absolutely crazy right now. So what else am I going to look at? Uh, I think that's it actually. Yeah, I think it's uh, pretty much because I want to say I want to try and focus mostly on the Big Man Weekend. A little bit of a touch on the Romanian Muscle Fest, uh, which was won by this guy um, who I predicted would would win this. Uh, actually blew our minds, didn't he, when he came out the night show? If you watch the live stream, myself and Lauren, we were going absolutely apeshit bananas at the night show because I couldn't believe how incredible he looked. Um, and I knew this guy was really, really good because we saw him last year at the Romano Muscle Fest when he took third behind uh, Rafael Brandeo, the winner, and Samson Dow, the runner-up. But he's taken his physique to another level. Um, he did win the Romanian Muscle Fest this year. Um, and it's still there's still a question mark whether he's going to be able to get his visa to compete in the Olympia. I know, I know, it's shit. So imagine still prepping, kind of like Hadi did in 2019 and 2020, n- not knowing whether you're going to be able to get to the Olympia in Vegas to compete. So it must be very stressful. And um, But e- either way, he's got to win. Uh, it's just, I just hope, I hope we get to see him at the Olympia because no one really knows about this guy. Very few people. He's only, he's only done the Roman- Romanian Muscle Fest twice. And um, oh. he is... So good. I, what? Him and Samson from aesthetic. Oh yes, uh, yeah, yeah, he's aesthetic. Nice small waist, that frontal bicep. It's like holy shit. And he's so golden with his tan. Well, that was last year. The tan was the tan wasn't golden this year. It was it was a bit better. Hang on, let's have a look. Let's have a look at some video here. Look at that. Look at the structure. Look at the yeah. There he is. Look, look at that. Yeah. I mean, those shoulders are popping. Do they? They look real. Yeah. yeah. They do. Okay, okay. No, I'm just so I'm so suspicious of Iranians. <laughs> Cuz uh well, I won't go to that now. Um yes, oh God. Look at that. I mean the glutes. I mean that but I, do you know what I like about Beru's? It's his muscle separation. He's big, he's aesthetic. He's got small Look at the front of the bicep. I love that little I, we're going to call that the Beru's flick. And I'm talking about the photographer uh Jonathan. There he is down the front. Look, there he is. See? Yeah. See? I mean that that I tell you what, you won't be able to do that when he's 50 with his knees. <laughs> all photographers need knee replacements oh so but Beru's man um, I, I thought it was close at the pre-judging between him and Brett but I did speak to the head judge Becky, Becky Clawson in Romania and she said no we all had um, Beru's first even at the pre-judging because I thought the pre-judging he looked a bit flat but um, the night show when he walked out even when he walked out from the backstage area to um, just just by the MC I mean, we were watching and I was going, I was going completely bananas because I just couldn't believe how how much better he looked at the night show and really sealed the deal for the win. So it was, I just, oh, just really hope he can get to the Olympia yeah. because I want the American fans, I want the, I want the Olympia fans and everyone watching the live stream just to see how good this guy is because this is what you call an absolute quality physique. And I think we need more physiques like this in the Pro League. And also, I was very happy to see Enrico looking absolutely sensational taking third place. Yeah. He is Branch Warren's stunt double, isn't he? Yeah. So, uh, hang on. Hang on. You didn't even know who Branch Warren was before April. Well, now I do. 
<laughs> she went up to Branch Warren in, in Sweden at an event. She says, hi, what's your name? <laughs> Brilliant. And he's like, I'm um, Branch Warren, bitch. No, he didn't say that. Did no, actually, no, he did say that because he's a real, Branch is a real gentleman. I'll tell you what, how Do you like, no, let's just, let's just, Branch is a gentleman. We love Jan how Branch. How about you text him and say, can we recreate that moment? <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to look horrified. So hang on, let's have a look at this video. Let's have a look at more video. I mean, look at that. That's a bit better quality video, that one. I mean, see, Brett looks bloody good there. Brett definitely looked better in Spain. He looked, he definitely peaked better. Um, but my God, how'd you get glutes like that? Holy shit. Great cheese on them. <laughs> Break a nail on them. Wow. I just, I just love his physique. I love his physique. And I'm just so happy that he got a win. And I just, fingers crossed, I pray, I hope, I hope, I hope, I hope he gets to the Olympia this year because... Um, and I hope he also, once he gets to America, I hope he can get over there again, maybe do an Arnold Classic or a New York Pro or a Chicago Pro or Tampa Pro. Because I tell you what, this guy's going to... I want to see this guy up against some bigger names, even bigger names. Do you know what I mean? Like the top six Olympia guys, because I think he would compare very well. So anyway, we're going to go next to the other shock of the... My God, of the Romania Muscle Fest, the winner, super heavyweight winner and overall amateur winner... Um, do you know he's five foot one and a hundred kilo on stage, two hundred and twenty pounds. So is he, here we go. There's just a little bit of footage here. Hang on. Um, I mean, just look at this shot. I mean, we. I mean, what was this guy like in the flesh, Lauren? He was incredible. You know, I mean, imagine eight pounds off that in the two twelve against Sean Clarida and, and uh, Kamala Gagni and Angel Calderon yeah. and uh, Lucas Coelho. I mean, that guy is gonna make. He's gonna cause damage, isn't he? I mean, imagine, like I said, eight pounds off that. That's nothing. Yeah, it's, I mean, he, I mean, he could do, he, he could do open or 212. It doesn't matter. I mean, Sean Clarida proved that, you know, you don't have to be 30 pounds heavier than that to be, I mean, I don't think he could, I don't think he could fit another 30 pounds of muscle on there. It's impossible. He would have to be wheeled on stage. <laughs> <laughs> he would, not he? <laughs> you know, and he'd just have to, oh my God, he's just, he was a monster. But um, I'd love to see this guy in a 212 next year. He ended up taking uh, seventh place in the Open. Um, a lot of people had him in, you know, the top six. But um, seventh place, you know, the day before being amateur, I think that's a pretty good result. So this is a huge new talent from China. And he was so exciting to see in the flesh. And there was so much talk around it, wasn't there, at the show. I mean, everyone was just blown away. In fact, when I was talking to you and Scalwa, um, they brought the competitors out from behind us, didn't they? Do you remember? Yeah, yeah. And I looked over and I just thought, oh my God, here he is. Because I knew he was competing um, I'd seen a couple of pictures uh, on on Instagram a couple of days before, and I just couldn't believe. I just thought, I hope this guy's physique translates to the stage. Um, but um, two twelve next year, please, Shu Ming or Liang, they call him. I hope he does two twelve next year because he's going to do absolute damage. So yeah, absolutely amazing. Let me just have a quick video just so you can see him physically. Oh, this is a great poser as well, wasn't he? Very, very yeah, beautiful poser. Not gonna put the music on. I mean, look at that. See, he even knows how to stand. He knows how to present his physique. I mean, look. I mean, the guy is just stacked full of muscle. I'm trying to trying to think who I can liken him to, who he's kind of who he reminds me of. You know? No, he's a one of a kind. Yeah, he is. He is. And do you know what? He's got a nice shape. He's got nice balance. Uh, needs to sort that gyno out. And I reckon I I think eight pound off that, and he would just be perfect for two twelve. So, and then he'll probably, I don't know, maybe he'll want to go open. But if he does really, really well in 212, which I think he will, I do believe um, he might possibly stay as a 212. I don't know. Because, I mean, how much bigger realistically can this guy get? Seriously. How much bigger can he get? I mean, he's he's a beast. He's a beast. Anyway, so, yeah. So, I just want to give a shout out there to this incredible new talent. Ron had him on Ron on Ron line uh, recently. Um, so, check that out. I had a translator. So, um, yeah, oh, what's that? Okay, and um, we're going to go, and I want to finish off with this amazing video by Pascal Scalwa, Pas Pascal, Pascal Walterfang, and he goes by the name Scalwa, which is the last, well, Scalwa, his name's Scalwa. So, and he did a promotional video, which was a 45 minute kind of movie on his Instagram, We've got 100,000 views, and I just want to show you the promo. Can we, do you think we can use the music? Yeah. We should be able to. Yeah, we can use that. Look at this. I mean, look at that. Okay. I mean, this is absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful, isn't it? 
Pascal Walter thing. There we go. Show one of the best in Europe. It was. It really was. Uh, we are very happy to get a whole new group of athletes to come Deepest to the voice ever. from this stage. <laughs> I got to the center. What this. I was most impressed with was the quality. That's a lot of Europeans, a lot of Middle Yay! Eastern athletes, <laughs> and everybody had amazing quality. Yeah, really good. Amazing. I really can't believe it. Oh, that was uh, Rejoice who won the figure. She was amazing. Amazing show. How do I turn the volume down a bit? And I cannot wait. There we to go. Show my package. Okay, that's so dodgy. <laughs> yeah. That's Daniel Stico, the 212 from Italy, uh, Maro Sassi's competitor. What an amazing day today. Tim Gardner. Uh, with all the IPB Fresh League pros. Okay, I'm going to end with one really handsome guy. Go. Oh, Frankie. I'm really happy because it's our last show of the year. So. There you go. Just have fun and that's all. How do I turn the volume down? There we go. Some veterans didn't even Here's place. Billy. I don't know what that means. Where's the volume? Um, they all look amazing. There we go. Down a bit now. Yeah, I mean, look at the quality of the editing and everything else. I mean, there's, there's the uh, Shuming there. Roman Fritz, Brett Wilkin. One of the classic guys. Polish power. That's it, all right, I'll take it, good. It works for me, ladies and gentlemen. Right. Anyway, yeah, so anyway, that was it. Um, yeah, so that was it. I just wanted to show that because uh, it's fantastic editing and good quality. And we, we, we uh, the good videographers, photographers, uh, more the better as far as I'm concerned. Right, okay then, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. And like I said, we are going to be hotting up now for the Olympia as it gets ever closer. Myself and Lauren flying out on the... What day? Wednesday? Tuesday? Wednesday. You fly out on the Wednesday. Oh, because you're going back in time. So we're like time travellers. Okay, okay. Right, okay then. And also, don't forget to hit the notification bell and get all that good stuff. And, uh, and I hope you've enjoyed this episode. And uh, we'll be back next week for more MD Globe Muscle. Okay then, guys. I will speak to you very soon. But thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting. And we are out. <laughs>